This piece that I'm going to do is called The Manifestation of I Am. It comes basically from this scripture, and if you don't mind, it's all right if you want to speak life into it with me. It's from the book of Romans, and it basically says, Be ye not conformed to this world, but transformed by the renewing of your mind. The poem goes like this, I am black. Like I got three baby moms. I done been to jail. Matter of fact, I got two cousins still doing 25 to life right now. And I see how y'all looking at me, even in the dark. That lazy dude, he ain't good for nothing. Why are you wearing that tight shirt on for? <laughs> but it's okay. Y'all don't understand. In these streets, you gotta know how to floss that gold. And you see me, I got a plan. See, if this, if this basketball or football thing don't take me straight pro, you know what? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a rapper or maybe a comedian or gangster actor. I am black, like a pimp, player, hustler. You know, a remix, the hood, a red brick projects. I'm talking CeeLo on the front steps. <laughs> Y'all don't understand. I'm talking about dime bags, 20 inch rims, sitting on dubs, baggy jeans, Tim's. My grandmother raised me, and today she only turns 37. I am black, like a goatee, braids, waves, a throwback jersey, and a fitted cap to match. I am black, like a screw face stare, stubborn's cousin, ignorance, America's nightmare. You know, after all that, after a couple of trials and tribulations, you actually realize and understand what it takes to be a man. I'm a black man like 41 bullets, so water than a broken plunger. Reload 50 more shots, a car filled with holes, a fiance left with nothing but a dead bell. Percussions, drums. I'm a black man like a racist rumor, Jim Crow's humor. They still rename me lazy to slow me down and break me. A guilty until proven innocent. Democracy is not a choice. Freedom was never really free. I lead a speaking, silent tongue, shouting whispers. Uncle Sam watches, smiles and grins. Success, we never started to begin. And yet still I rise. I'm a black man like Mother Africa. Nappy hair, hard work. See, a black onyx ebony woman is my queen. She understands the slavery I've been through. Our struggles unite us as glue. I'm a black man like every Sunday church, of course, unless there's a game. Like every three days, shape up. Every summer, you know we barbecuing. Man, I'm not even a Negro. I'm a prehistoric slave from South America that my ancestors called a Nubian Chocolato El Negro. Negro. Colored, still picking cotton. Midnight nicknamed me Blue Man. I'm Kaki's cousin, confidence. White America's nightmare. And you know, after all this, I finally thought I made it. I finally thought I, I, I found my purpose. And then I found myself with my knees buckled, laying prostrate. And then something was revealed to me that you see, just as the heavens are to the earth, my ways are not your ways, and my thoughts are not your thoughts. And on that very night, I am a Christian. Like you see, I don't go to church for friends, to hear the choir sing, or even see the pastor. Only the word that he or she brings. I'm a Christian like I didn't get saved the day I got baptized, no. But a little while after, when I fell to my knees and I let God in, I'm a Christian like, yes, I still do sin. But by his grace and forgiveness, time and time again, He's allowed me to be just like him. I'm a Christian like hallelujah, hallelujah, praise him. Your name is worthy to be praised, hallelujah. And it's not Sunday and I actually meant it. You see, I don't read the Bible to quote verses, but to understand and to know my purpose. See, there's a difference between good and godly, morality and spirituality, religions and Christianity. See, understand, they still call me lazy, but now I know it's really short for Lazarus, resurrected from the dead. I am a Christian. So if you were to call me anything, anything, let it be of no shape, color, or form, simply an attempt to be a reflection of him, a Christian. Thank you, God.